2021, Porsche celebrates 70 years in Australia. Porsche officially arrived in Australia in 1951, when Melbourne entrepreneur Norman Hamilton first introduced two early 356 models, this 356 Marone Coupe and a 356 Cabriolet in silver grey, making Australia Porsche's first right-hand drive market and one of its first export territories. So here's Greg O'Keefe. Greg spent a lifetime collecting Porsche vehicles. And I've heard a rumor that you've owned over 50 356s. What is it particularly about the 356? Just the simplicity, the beautiful shape, the history. And this is a particularly nostalgic vehicle, isn't it? One of the first two that came to Australia. How does it feel being the current owner of it? It's a wonderful thing, you know. When we're all gone, these cars will still be here. So what do you think the future is for Porsche now that the electric vehicles are here? Porsche have always been on top. They know what they're on about, they understand the people, so I think that tells you what the future's going to be. So joining us now is Alan Hamilton, Norman Hamilton's son. There's a really interesting story, isn't there, about how your dad came across a Porsche test driver and ended up bringing these ones home. So he had gone over to Switzerland and while he was driving down over the mountain pass, this funny little sports car passed him. It turned out to be Richard on Frankenberg. You can imagine these cars in 1951 were outstanding. So Richard went to the Porsche factory with my father. My father and Ferry Porsche became good friends. He ordered the first two right-hand drive cars. So how special is it that these two original cars are in such great condition? A uh, red one here uh, didn't always look quite as pristine as it does now. Oh, it's got some war stories, does it? Oh, it did the 1953 Round Australia Rally. And you've arrived in the all-electric Taycan. How do you think that your dad would have felt 70 years later? Well, I would think his passion for Porsche just would have accelerated one step further. And it is the way of the future. Why do you think it is that Porsche has remained so iconic? They've stayed at the top of the game because of their dedication to quality, innovation, and the fact that they engender exciting driving. Greg, I've heard that you've had a, a spin in the Taycan already. What did you think? I have to say, I'm blown away. My great fear was it wasn't going to feel like a Porsche, but it's like a Porsche, but only better. After a couple of laps in that car, I'm sold. It's amazing. I love it. And there you have it. Porsche's heritage beats its future for a celebration of 70 years of Porsche in Australia.